How to become more beautiful. The advice I'm about to give you helped me go from this to this. But the changes weren't just external, they were internal as well. Stay tuned for the last point because it is the most important. Number one, start with your purpose. And your purpose cannot be external. What do I mean by that? Do not base your reason for why you want to become more beautiful on an external factor, meaning a relationship, a partner, um, or other people's validation, whatever it may be. Base it on something inside of you. Why do I say that? Because the moment you don't have that relationship anymore, right? The moment you stop dating that person and you want to become more beautiful for that person so they'll see you and acknowledge you, when that relationship goes away or when that relationship stops being a thing, you're going to lose your motivation to become a more beautiful person inside and out. And it's going to take you to a very dark place. You want your motivation for why you even want to become a more beautiful person to be internal. Make it about being the best version of yourself. Make it about the fact that you want to look in the mirror and see someone you're proud of. Make it about the fact that when people tell your family members about the person that you are and the character that you have, they're proud of the fact you carry their same last name. They're proud of the way you represent the family, right? Make it about that. Make it internal because your internal motivation you're going to have no matter what the situation or circumstance, no matter what thing you're going through in life, no matter how people treat you, no matter how people see you. You're always going to have that internal motivation. Number two, change your environment. And it's not something as simple as like, oh, don't keep snacks around the house if you want to lose weight. Don't uh, eat junk food or be around, have junk food in the house. It's more than just that. When I talk about changing your environment, I also mean changing the places you spend your time, changing the energy that surrounds you, changing the places that you, that you hang out. Right? Why is that? Because changing your environment is going to drastically change your mindset, right? It's going to affect the way you think about things and the way you feel about things, right? Based on the environment you're in. If you're always in the gym, what's the number one thing you're going to be thinking about? You're going to be thinking about how to lose weight, right? You're constantly going to be looking at yourself in the mirror. You're going to be comparing yourself to the other people in the gym, right? You don't even have to go to the gym and promise yourself you're going to work out. You can go to the gym and just the simple aspect of being in that environment will inspire you to work out because you're going to see other attractive people. You're going to see people working hard on their physique, right? And you're going to want to participate. You're going to want to do as you see other people doing. The same way it is if you sit in a lazy environment where everyone around you is lazy, nobody wants to work hard, nobody wants to better themselves, you're also going to start thinking like that. You're not going to be inspired to want to change your life. And like I say, being more beautiful is about internal and external. Number three, surround yourself with like-minded people. Now, this kind of goes back to changing your environment because when you surround yourself with like-minded people, it will be so much easier to continue progressing and not stray off of your path. Because of course, we all want to be internally motivated and we all want to have it and bring it every day and and have that that awesome focused mindset but the reality of it is we're all human beings who go through emotional ups and downs not every day you wake up you're going to feel highly motivated to do the right thing and be on the right track and take care of what you need to take care of like your skincare routine uh working out uh, just taking care of yourself in general putting energy into yourself but when you surround yourself with like-minded people one they will teach you things that you might not have known, right? They'll give you tips and tricks because along their journey, they're gonna learn things as well. They might also be farther along on their journey, right? But they'll also help you avoid mistakes that they've, and teach you mistakes that they've made so that you don't have to make those same mistakes and you can be a couple steps ahead. What's one of the really popular sayings? If you hang out with five millionaires, you're gonna be the sixth. Why do they say that? Because the people you surround yourself with are a representation of the mindset that you have yourself. You're going to soak in that energy. You're going to soak in that aura. You're going to soak in that mindset, 
right? And you're going to start thinking the same way the group thinks. Number four, stop seeking external validation. Now, why is this one so important? Because when you're seeking external validation from people, right? Let's say, for example, you want to lose 50 pounds and you lose five pounds and you're excited to go on Instagram and tell people you lost five pounds, right? Because you want people to congratulate you for losing five pounds. But the problem with that is, is you're constantly feeding yourself with dopamine, right? You get you want that positive feedback loop and that positive reinforcement from other people to tell you you're doing something right. But the reality of it is, even when they tell you you're doing something right and you feel good about it, five pounds is not your goal, right? And sometimes seeking that validation will distract you from the long-term goal, right? Hoping that other people will see you, right? Is going to distract you from continuing down that path because what happens what happens is that if they don't see you if they don't validate you you get disappointed right you feel like you're not doing the right thing or you're not doing enough when all you need to do is be consistent right when i say how to be more beautiful that's about taking care of your appearance that's about healing your traumas right that's about being a better person, that's about acknowledging the mistakes that you've made, right? It's about taking care of the whole person. Because as you become more beautiful outside, you also need to become more beautiful inside. Which leads me to number five, and this is the most important one to learning how to become more beautiful. You need to cut out your vices. Now, this one is gonna scare a lot of you guys, and a lot of you guys are gonna be like, oh, I don't need to do that, it's not important, da da da. Your vices, affect your mindset. I don't care if you're not addicted to your vices, whether it be drinking, smoking weed, smoking cigarettes, smoking a vape. We'll talk about another, that another day, but smoking a vape is a vice as well. The reason it's so important is because when you give in to those vices, it creates this mindset that you want to give in to your short-term happiness in replace of your long-term goals. What's the number one thing you do after you go out on a night drinking heavy, right? You probably get home at 3 a.m. and you order a pizza or you order Uber Eats, you order McDonald's, right? You get something sloppy to eat, right? You're just kind of scarfing food down and you wake up the next day and you feel like garbage, right? Why is that? Because when you give in to the vice, you're already at a lower vibration. You're already at a lower frequency, right? And so you just start making decisions that make you feel good in the moment. But eating McDonald's at 3 a.m. at night doesn't align with the long-term goal of losing weight. Those two don't align. But what happens is when you give in to those vices, you start building that mindset of, I don't care about what my long-term happiness is, what my long-term goal is. I want to make myself happy in the short term. And the vices are one of the biggest representations of making yourself happy in the short term rather than focusing on your long-term happiness and having discipline. Because when you start getting into the mindset of, oh, I've had a really rough week, I just want to go out and get drunk with my friends to let off some steam, right? You're building that, oh, I want short-term happiness. I don't care about the long-term goal. I want short-term happiness, short-term happiness, short-term. Because short-term happiness is never going to serve future you. And in everything you do, right, the only way to learn how to become more beautiful at your core and externally is to learn how to do things that will serve future you.